Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for upper intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B2 English Story A Life at Cambridge Ever since Denise had visited Cambridge on a school trip, she had wanted to live there. In year 10, her class were chosen out of the entire year to visit the University of Cambridge and have a tour of the city. They were selected as they had the best attendance. The school leadership team wanted to reward them for it and show a good example to the rest of the school. Denise came from a working class background. Her mum worked as a teaching assistant at a special education school and her dad was a machine operative for a factory that constructed road signs. Even though she never felt poor, her family didn't have very much expendable cash. Everything they earned went into paying for bills, food and transportation costs. Denise's friends were all in the same situation, so she thought this was just how life was. She never felt without. Her family went on holiday every year to her auntie's caravan. They had clothes on their backs and food on their table. What more could she ask for? It was only when Denise visited Cambridge that she realised that life could be considerably different. Before the school excursion, she had never been outside of her county, other than to the seaside and the caravan. Visiting the city opened up a whole new world to Denise that she never knew existed, never mind could be possible for her to explore. Cambridge is an affluent city and is famous worldwide for its excellent university and beautiful architecture. It's situated approximately 55 miles north of London in the county of Cambridgeshire and has approximately 129,000 residents, over 25,000 of which are students at the university. Many famous people were born in Cambridge, including pop star Charlie XCX, actor Richard Attenborough, and rock star and frontman of Muse, Matt Bellamy. The city has two universities, the Anglia Ruskin University and the prestigious University of Cambridge. When it comes to notable people who have studied at Cambridge University, the list is endless. Many famous performers started their careers at the university's amateur dramatic societies and now walk the red carpets of Hollywood. Hugh Laurie, Emma Thompson and Stephen Fry are just a few of the stars who studied at Cambridge. World-renowned theoretical physicist and author of A Brief History of Time, Stephen Hawking, was a PhD student at the university in the 1960s. Denise found the history of the beautiful university mesmerising. Dating back to the 1200s, it is the fourth oldest university in the world. She had never seen such stunning architecture and couldn't believe that intricate buildings were constructed such a long time ago. Some of the university's most famous structures include King's College Chapel, Wren Library and Kettle's Yard. Walking through the vast university corridors, Denise was in awe. This was nothing like her school. Everything was steeped in history and antiques. Here people were laughing and joking and engaging in intellectual conversations. Denise wanted to be one of those students. 
She thought that going to one of the world's top universities was something out of her reach. Now she realised that wasn't the case. Denise worked hard and always achieved top grades. She was attentive, calm and inspiring. She wrote wonderful stories, excelled at music and was competitive at sports. She always assumed that going to Oxford or Cambridge was something that Toffs did and that a normal working class girl like her could never mix with such people. How wrong she realised she had been. The extensive tour of the university was eye-opening. Cambridge is different to many universities in England in that it is a collegiate university. This means it's made up of various faculties and departments in different academic subjects. There are 31 colleges at the university and 29 of these accept applications from undergraduates. Each college has its own community where events and other social activities take place. The college a student is accepted to also determines where they will live on campus. Denise found this fascinating. It was like Harry Potter. After the tour, they enjoyed a delicious lunch and then spent the afternoon listening to inspiring talks from current students and recent alumni. This was when Denise's mindset began to change. One of the speakers was a young woman called Monet. She was from London and was the first generation of her family to go to university. Her grandfather had moved to London in the 1960s from Jamaica. She talked about her experiences of growing up in London and how she got a place at the university to study French and English. Denise looked up to Monet. She had overcome all barriers to get to where she wanted to be. After the talk, Denise plucked up the courage to speak to her. She told her about her school and how she was doing and Monet gave her some pointers with regards to her educational choices and which courses might suit her. Denise left the beautiful stained glass windowed lecture hall with a spring in her step. She knew she would grace these famous university halls in a few years. All she had to do was ensure she picked the right topics and thoroughly practised her interview technique. After the talks, the class were taken on a walking tour down to the River Cam for a chauffeured punting tour of the city. They were in awe of the stunning views and the buildings that lined the riverside. The person who was in charge of their punt was a third year University of Cambridge student. He was doing the job part-time alongside his studies to become an engineer. He talked to them about university life and what it's really like to study there. He explained the tuition costs, the funding and bursaries that were available and, more importantly, which pubs and bars to avoid. Denise's face resembled a Cheshire cat. She couldn't stop smiling. She felt like visiting Cambridge was meant to be. Now she knew the path she wanted to take. The city was stunning in every respect. The buildings were immaculate, the people were kind, the shops were varied and the cafes were plentiful. Denise particularly loved the Bridge of Sighs. This stunning feature of St John's College was built in 1831. She dreamed of one day walking across that bridge with her books and folders en route to a seminar or lecture. Now all Denise had to do was work hard at school and make her dream life at the University of Cambridge a reality. Have you ever visited Cambridge? Did you enjoy it? Tell us in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget 
to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.